Hey everyone, welcome back to the MetaMask tutorial. And today I want to show you how to download MetaMask on your Chrome extension, which is your browser extension. And you can access MetaMask from anywhere, even though you're surfing YouTube or you're on Facebook. You can buy and you can sell Ethereum from anywhere you are. And I'll show you how to create one. So what you want to do is just head over to metamask.io or you can just type in metamask on Google and this will take you to the search engine and you just click on the first one, metamask. See, it's a crypto wallet and gateway to all your blockchain applications. Just hit on download install metamask for your browser and you can see here i already have metamask in my extensions right here and what you want to do is just scroll down and hit install metamask for chrome and because i already have metamask it just says remove from chrome but for you it should say add to chrome but because i'm doing a tutorial today i'm just gonna hit remove okay remove it and for you, it should say add to Chrome. So hit add to Chrome, add extension, and then it's downloading. Okay, so here it says that MetaMask has been added to Chrome and it brings you to the extension page. So it says here, welcome to MetaMask, connecting you to Ethereum and the decentralized web. We're happy to see you. Well, I'm happy to see you too. Check this function, the fox head moves where your mouse cursor moves. It's such a cool design addition. And it clearly shows that someone in the design team was thinking, just hit get started. And if you're new to MetaMask, you just want to hit the right option of yes, let's get set up. This will create a new wallet and a seed phrase. So hit on create a wallet. Okay, create a password. So if you notice, there was no username and you'll see why in a bit. Because you have this thing called a secret backup phrase or your seed phrase. And you should store this phrase somewhere safe. And you should never show this phrase to anyone because it's like the password on your password and you can either write it down on a piece of paper or you can just save it onto your notes for me i'm just gonna hit okay warning never disclose your backup phrase because then if someone knows your secret phrase they can take your ethereum so click here to reveal secret words well i'm not going to reveal it to you so i'm just going to blur it out but i'm just going to click on it so what you want to do is just copy it and paste it somewhere or you can just write it down on a piece of paper but don't throw it away because this is your second password just gonna hit paste well i'm lazy so i'm not going to write it down but what you should do is don't show anyone this password and it could be anything it could be like flower mango snake talk, vibrant, kitchen. It's just a bunch of random words that make no sense, but you have to put it in order. So hit next. So this is the part where you put the words in order again. So I will just refer to my notepad here. Okay, so once you put everything in order, then you just hit confirm. And it says, congratulations, you passed the test. Keep your seed phrase safe. It is your responsibility. Save it anywhere, but don't show it to anyone. Hit all done. Oh, and MetaMask cannot recover your seed phrase, so make sure you store it safe. So, okay, so now you've come to the main page of MetaMask. And you can see here this little puzzle icon at the top where all the Chrome extensions live. I just want to click on this 
and I want to pin MetaMask to my extension so it lives here permanently. And you can see all my other extensions right here. So even if I go to YouTube, I can still access it from anywhere. See, it's right here. Well, it's the same thing here. So this is the main page where you can buy or you can send. But in the buy option, there's also a transfer option. So there are three ways to deposit Ethereum in MetaMask. And the first way is a transfer. So this first method, it says directly deposit Ether. If you already have some Ether, the quickest way to get Ether into your wallet is by direct deposit. So let's just say I already have some Ether in my Coinbase wallet. And Coinbase is the wallet that everyone uses. It is a pretty standardized, basic wallet. And earlier I showed you how I requested for my friend to send me some Ethereum and he did. So now I will just go to Coinbase. And I will have a separate video for Coinbase, but what you want to do is just go to sign in first. Okay, so now that I have logged into my Coinbase, you can see that I have so my friend sent me Ethereum at 4 p.m. and it is now 5 p.m. I have received the 0.2 Ethereum and let's transfer. So send, hit send. I can hit send all. Okay, so the address is your MetaMask address. So remember here, I can just access this extension right here. Hit on buy, view account. This is this long string of numbers here is my address. So let's just say I order something online or I want to invite friends to a party and I live in 10 Ocean Drive, block 10, unit 5. Postal code 521. That is my physical address to send people to send mail. This is the crypto address, or this is my wallet address for people to send tokens to me, to, for people to send crypto to me. This long string of numbers is always one long string of numbers, It's and it doesn't change unless you change an account. But if within one account, there's only going to be one address. And this um, QR code here is also your address, so you can either send your friend a QR code or the long address, but my preference is just to send the long string of numbers and code, and it's what most people do anyway. So just copy this, and this is sending to MetaMask, and I want to transfer it from Coinbase, so I just paste my wallet address right here. Note, um, you can just say anything. Hey. And I want to send Ethereum, so right here the token is Ethereum, and I hit send. There is a very small network fee. There is no Coinbase fee. The, the network fee is something like a transfer fee, but it's a really insignificant amount. It's 0.001 Ethereum. So I hit send now. And again, I have to hit my OTP, so we'll be right back. Okay, so now it says that your send is in progress and you receive an email when your status updates. And from my experience, this should take about 20 minutes. So hit done. And you can see there is no more Ethereum in my wallet. You can see here, it says that I just sent to Ethereum and it is now 523. Let's check back at about 540. It should be transferred. Oh, it's so fast. Okay, so I just hit MetaMask and it was actually faster than I thought. 
so it is yeah super fast it's on the main ethereum network it just took like less than a minute and you can see here i have 0.2 or maybe less than 0.2 but about the same about 80 dollars hit activity and you see i just received ethereum from metamask so yeah now i have ethereum And that is how you create an Ethereum wallet for MetaMask. And now you have Ethereum in your MetaMask wallet that you can use to activate any Ethereum business and any Ethereum platform. It's super simple. And don't forget to use the link down in the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.